well, I don't even know where to start. Um, just the roller coaster. Like, I, you know, it's just like, I mean, it's up and the up is so up. But that contraction that comes after the up kind of makes me not want to go up. <laughs> Sure. Well, I think that's what's hap that's what happens to so many people is they don't want to experience the contraction of really, really living. Because if you're really living, if you're living your most authentic, truest, like deepest heart's desire in life, there's going to be massive expansions and there's going to be massive contractions. And those contractions are no fucking fun. However, that is where you build your resilience and you build your grace and you build everything that you need to be able to truly expand into all that you are here to expand into your highest, highest potential, you know, everything that you're really capable of. And, and regardless of being on a awakened path or not and following your heart's deepest desire or not, or staying in a fear based reality and way of living, no judgment on that at all because so god bless sometimes i wish i could do that i know it'd be nice to be able to go back to sleep and just do life as usual when it it but, takes you know. some courage to <laughs> choose that path too you know right. and so right. regardless of which path you choose it's like the contraction and expansion is going to happen and the only stability that you can have in life is the stability of your own heart and your own mind. Well, and, and it's the only certain is that it's going to keep doing this. Like, as you were talking about, um, as you were talking about it and you were saying all the things that it is, Spirit was also saying it is also how you gather momentum. So like, you know, if you think about the high being this huge arch and then the, the slide down is like, like it's, it's a fast dip down, but it gathers momentum. And, you know, we're not here to, I like, I like those EKG lines. I reference them a lot in my work. Like, you know, we're not here to do this. I mean, that flat line is not living, right? And we are literally here to, to, to spike it right now, especially because we need the momentum to actually lift the fuck off. Absolutely. And that I think with all these um, planets retrograding and all these eclipses coming up in October, it's yeah. like we are in the thick of it, my friends. Uh -huh. we are in the thick of it. Yeah. So if you are feeling like, God, the universe just keeps pulling rugs out from under me. Damn, what the hell? I can't get anything to align. Gosh, I really can't like move myself forward. Then you're not alone. And I think you are in a uh, a really important time to be doing the inner work. I think that's Amen. just really what we need to be focusing on right now. It's like doing the inner work for me right now. It's getting deeper and deeper into union with that state of everything, that state of pure consciousness of nothing and everything, the Tao, right? That field of, of infinite possibilities. If nothing's for sure and everything's possible, there's a frequency there that's like, God, everything is possible. The thing that you think that you think you want and the thing that you're trying to grasp onto, that's possible too there in that all realm, of it. You know? We're, the, and we're here for it all. You don't even know, you can't even imagine, like that's possible there too. The things you've dreamed of in the past, all of it is possible. So if you can stay in the frequency, which is a much higher frequency than this low density, like, gosh, I can't get my fucking Facebook live to work, you know, like these matter things, these m material, like Mata, mother, the earth plane, the mother plane. Mm. So doing this meditation where we go through the womb, through the womb, back to that point of, of pre, like right before, right as conception is occurring and right before conception occurs, like you're not Lisa McArdle, you're not a woman, you're not a channeler, you're not anything that you think you are, you know, you're not all this persona, you're just potential. Potential. And then we get to go back to the potential. And so interesting you bring in potential because spirit was just speaking these four Ps um, that we need patience. We need presence, per perseverance, like don't give up. Like you can't quit at the finish line. 
and massive amounts of prayer. So let's remember that prayer is when we communicate with source divinity when we say like thank you for this i need i'm asking for this i'm in gratitude for this i want clarity and curiosity around this um allow me to be in service show me the way i surrender it all over like that's all the prayer um but then the meditation comes in uh, as the, the space where we listen which is our prep which which is our presence, right? So we pray it forward and we listen for the for the guidance. Um, but back to that original, yeah, that pre-birth, pre-existence. Um, actually, Spirit had shown me a couple of years ago, I have a meditation around it, but that when we have our umbilical cords cut, it's our first true wound because of how we, do it in this society it, the perception from that new life is that you were just cut from the only source that you had ever known and in this 3d living we you know we kind of go on to to experience that over and over being cut from source wanting something outside of ourselves in order to feel better to be better to feel more secure to feel safe to have um uh, security, you know, <laughs> money, relationships, all these outside things. And so we're like, we got to cut, cut from our source of our womb of our mother, which cuts us off of, of Mama Gaia too. And so they really, they showed me how to rekindle our, our, um, go into the womb of Gaia and to actually record umbilically from yourself to her so that you can be in that infinite well of mother and in the receptivity of all that is like this illusion of being cut off is what has us scared and operating in scarcity and feeling alone and getting into the kerfuffle of fuckery <laughs> that's what i'm doing i've been playing in the kerfuffle of fuckery and and i know that i'm doing it and i know that i know better and I know that, um, and I think the other big thing that's coming through is like, whatever your frequency is, just wait a minute. Yeah. Like if you're really in the, like, just wait a minute. Like I reach out to you, like, oh, you don't think I can go live. I'm just a mess today. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, well, you know, now I'm fine. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And so therein lies the patience piece of those four yeah. P's and to be present with yourself as you are practicing patience. Because patience is one of those things that some of us come in with it more than others, you know, and, and, but it is something that, that you can really practice. And there's this divine timeline that has to align. And it's not just your timeline, right? There's a lot of other players involved in this timeline. And so really just, there's a, a practice in Taoism called Wu Wei which is effortless effort. You know, it's this non-doing mm. thing. Mm. It's like, instead of like, let me control, let me grasp, let me reach out and make it happen and grab, let me just allow this bigger wisdom, this higher consciousness to actually like do what it needs to do to align what's in my highest and best interest for me. In the meantime, I can just kick back and go through my phases, you know, you know, I'm always talking about the four phases of the moon cycle. I'm going to talk about it again because I'm reading through my book right now. I got to tell you, my book for me is such medicine right now. I'm prepping it for publication. <laughs> so nice and as, back, huh? I know as I'm reading, I'm like, this is exactly what I need to be reading right now. You know, it's so okay. amazing how that works. Mm -hmm. You are your own medicine. Like your own wisdom is your own medicine. And so I'm just mm -hmm. reading through the clearing, the releasing phase, the letting go phase, which we're heading into this fall um, of the year. So we've got our monthly seasons. Every week we go through one of those seasons, but then we have the yearly cycle. And um, what's my point? Just, you know, the releasing and the letting go, the surrendering, the non-doing, the wu way, mm -hmm. just trusting the universe to actually hold you and take care of you go back to that embryonic state go back to the universal connection of everything is as it should be even though it doesn't feel like it because your persona wants uh, it to look different yeah. 
Yeah, and thank you. Like, I, I feel like that thing about going back to our own medicine, I mean, over and over and over, I, f I find like over, the, you know, the decades that we've been doing this and been in service, like people come back and be like, oh, you want our, you know, spirit once said through you, you once said to that. And I'm like, really? Tell me more. Like, <laughs> because it does come back around for us to, to, to know, to remember, to become. And, and honestly, thanks for bringing that to the table because that is the biggest piece that I keep forgetting is, is my being. And you know, the embodiment that I'm so 110,000 trillion percent committed to right now is the activation of my divine femininity of coming back into that magnetic state, which is my natural state, but I unlearned it a long ass time ago, like when I was three mm -hmm. and you know, all the need to survive and to have my own back and, you know, the, the key words any human can ever say to me is I got you, I got you. And when I hear those words, there's this like resonance, like a bell that rings through my body that reminds me to lean back, that reminds me that I am cared for infinitely and don't have to go after. Like I've mastered going after and I can't, can't even do it anymore because it's just not like my being won't let me. So when we sit in this cross section of really clearly seeing who we once were and knowing what we're being called to become, which is actually back to our original blueprint. It isn't like becoming something different. It's becoming the authentic version of ourselves as we said yes to being created before all the imprints came of this density. Like lean back, relax, trust and surrender. And if you're like going after like, the more I get into needing to do, the more I start spinning and, and I can't stop the spin. The only thing that stops it is to let go and come back. It's like walk away from the computer, stop pushing. It just simply means it's time to go take a walk, to lay on the earth, to sit in the water, to pray, to meditate, to reach out to a friend, to go dancing, to go do something completely different, which is so not not how the program is. It's like, go do more, go do more, go do more. And it's like, no, 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 go be more, go be more, go be more. So, yeah, thank you. you know, I want to speak to because some, you know, you and I, we don't have children and we don't have these like lots of other families pulling on us. And it is, there are so many out there who that is their situation, that is their reality. And, um, and so it, it does require time and energy to do this deeper work. And if, if you can't, if it feels like impossible to create time and energy for yourself, what you can do is you can still do all the things that you have to do in the world, like take care of your kids, get them off to school, vacuum the house, you know, like exactly. put the lunches together, but you can do it with a different consciousness. So like, for example, when you're vacuuming, you know, it's like, what am I cleaning up? What am I, what belief systems am I cleaning up? What am I vacuuming up? What am I re what, ready to let go of in my being? What habits, what, what inner critical thoughts am I ready to really like suck up through this vacuum? And so you're doing that thing in a different way now, consciously. And shifting your frequency on that note then let's say you're making lunches okay that's a creative thing you know you just did clearing and now it's like now you're doing a creative thing so instead of like oh, i've got to get these lunches together and in time and all the pressure of time timeline and, and and um outcome you know it's like then you can just actually take a deep breath and and make it a prayer like i am going to put so much love into these lunches and i'm going to put so much energy of my kids having a beautiful, you know, day or a beautiful moment with their food later and nourishing them. Mm. And I'm going to put that together in a, in a different way than in a stressed out go, go, go mode. Because so then you are being different mm. as you do. I love of that and the other pivot that came through as you were saying that is pivoting from I have to to I get to yeah. like I have to make these lunches too I get to pour so much love into the nourishment of these humans on this planet um, I've been contracted around taxes because I just yeah it's a system that 
is very interesting for me. Anyway, I'm very contracted around it and very procrastinated around it. In fact, I've already missed the deadline and here I am. And I'm like, okay, it is what it is. And so I'm going to pivot into I get to do this to free myself of the angst um, and of the dissolve of whatever contractions I have around the system, I get to do it to have it be complete and to move on. <laughs> so whatever the pivot is in whatever the resistance is, and you know, it really gives us this opportunity to, to rename and reclaim, which is the feminine way. And can I, experience my being even when there's demands upon my doing mm -hmm. it's a good mm -hmm. space to to leave our inquiry for this day yeah yeah it is sending so much love to your light thanks for joining us we are still exploring our platforms of greatest desire so we'll keep you all updated on where we end up oh yes um someone says i um sydney says um i kind of dropped that the new week do, do during menopause oh that's a whole subject we could talk about next week the mental pause of <laughs> thinking of the versus feeling so yeah more Thank to come you. we'll see you soon much love, love. love to your night ciao ciao